all right guys welcome to another video and content right here this is your phone that for a chef popularly known as um Sunday joseph yeah all right welcome to people wise video right here right now today so i will be exposing your mind to something awesome about taking signals and um even if you are new if you even if you're a beginner i'm going to explain everything i know how i do it i explain everything step by step in the most simplified way that you can ever get it you get so um get ready and i want you to take to me to with me to the very end uh so that i can uh really really explain this thing for you for you to get it so now um so now what is signals trading signals so with this knowledge you will be able you'll be able to um maximize any signal given to you no matter the signal group you are in you'll be able to maximize it more right so the whole deal about trading is for you to be more profitable than loss have more profit than loss that is consistency right so if you're taking a signal for someone and most of the time is always eating a cell you need to focus or look for somewhere else that you can trust much better or we say by way it is whereby the stop loss is not really much but you know that when you have a good catch you catch it for good at the end of a week two weeks you can actually check your history and see that yes uh, i'm really moving forward with this person you get so now what a signal ideally um if you're a beginner and you are new to what signal is so signals are just like um a lot right a lot that um, tell you the next thing to do like tell you the next thing to do that's the meaning of signals right a sign a sign a sign of something so if i'm if i'm driving and i want to turn to the left and i raise my left hand that i want to turn to the left i raise my left hand people coming behind me in front of me know that i want to branch to the left hand side because i give them a signal so by the time we come to trading is totally also it's the same thing but just in a different field it's the same thing just in a different field right so you need to understand that so well so this um when it comes to your know, okay let's just take it for this for an example weather right you uh, forecast the weather they tell you oh, it's going to be cloudy tomorrow so what do you do you start preparing your house or umbrella and everything so that you know that yeah you might go out and get caught by by the rain you get what i'm saying so then when it comes to fresh signal it's actually telling you there's an opportunity there's a potential opportunity for you to take advantage of that the provider I want to take advantage of so you can take you can also take it why are you taking a signal in the first place you're taking a signal because um maybe you don't have strong belief in your own strategy yet or you have you have somebody that oh you see this person is getting massive result then you want to follow what they are doing or to test most of the time so to to actually test how good maybe their courses or their teaching is or what their teaching is actually valid or not but now it's how to get a good mentor, how to get a good signal provider, because there are two parties here, a signal provider, a signal provider, and you as a copier, if you are a copier, as a copier or a re receiver, right? So now you need to scrutinize your provider so well, maybe and most of the time what people use in scrutinizing providers are like go on there, is the person using Lambo, is the person doing this thing, is the person doing this thing, but well, this is not really, really ideally the major um, criteria to actually pick who is really doing well because anybody can actually buy a Lambo from another business and claim it's trading, right? And claim it's trading and by the time you enter the group, you will now know which one is which. But at the end of the day, you have already paid them and the money has already gone into their pocket. So you need to understand that so well. But sometimes you actually try to, you have to try one or two before you actually get a stable one, right? So now this is the person that gives you signal like, oh, right? While you are learning, you are you want to be hanging. So you are just getting signals from people. You don't need to dive deeper and all. So what you, this person is the expert trader giving you this thing. And it's not up to you to manage. This guy is telling you, yes, rain will fall tomorrow. And it's not up to you to really manage the opportunity of the rain. Either you're a, a farmer, either you are going to work, now manage utilize this opportunity and also because you want to be sure that this person always drop a good signals a good signals a good signals as often as possible and at the end of one month at the end of three weeks at the end of at the end of two weeks you can uh, one week you can actually get to check your 
um, check your, what's it called? Check your account history and know that yes, you have a good account history. Then that's it that for that. And as a copier, your mission is to utilize this way. And this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video, of which I'll be giving you step to actually um, maximize this opportunity. So one of the things is it is always good to have the mind of that trader, of that signal provider, because by the time you have the mind of that signal provider, you will know why this person is actually taking this trade. You have the mind, oh, I know the reason why this person is actually taking this trade. I know what this person is looking on in this trade. I know what this person is watching out in this trade. If, if you tell your child or someone, don't go there, there's high chances that the person will go there. But by the time you tell them the reason why they shouldn't go there, now they have a full understanding why they shouldn't go there. So there is high probability of them really, really, really managing that not going there. Do you understand? So this is it. So you need to have the mind of the trader. If you don't have the mind of the trader, it's also fine. But it is better when you have the mind of the trader, when you understand the strategy to a bit. And also you yourself, you need to understand the market to some point. Utilize it because... Um, there's, there's, a, there's a chapter in the book of wisdom which I'll borrow. It's yes, so please, um, sorry about that. That was a course. I didn't, I didn't know that it was off right now. So then, it actually means um, 10, 14. It actually means that this is that you, you need to really, really manage the trade so well. Then um, another thing is you should always check the news. Be sure you're checking the news when the person drops the signal. Be sure you are also checking the news. If there's anything that is really, really going to come up today and how to check the news, I have a video right there. I'm going to drop the video on how to check the news how to check the news i did a video so i'll leave the link below right there so that you can watch that and also then you need to understand your risk target not just profit target you need to have a risk target that is oh i'm risking just ten dollars i'm risking just fifteen dollars i'm risking just thirty dollars so by by that time you can divide it by the number of your pips of which i'm going to do um i'm going to do um, a video on how to use your pips calculation and your loss size and all. I'm going to do a video on that. So watch out for that. So then also have your own um, understand. Always move your stop loss to profit because ideally you don't really have the mind of that trader. Let me say you enter a trade right now and the trade is moving for a buy and the trade is moving like this. At least secure 20% of that profit. Secure 20% of that profit because you don't know what will happen. Anytime you're trading, secure 20% of that profit. And the closer it's getting to your entering, and the closer it's getting to your TP, the more profit you should secure. The, prover, the closer it's getting to your TP, the more profit you should secure. It's like 90%, because what I just tell my student is it is not always, it is not always, it is not always TP. TP is not the goal. TP is not the goal. Right, TP is not the goal. The goal is the goal is um the goal is to be profitable, not TP. So there are sometimes you just want to give you seventy percent. There are sometimes you want to give you ninety percent. There are sometimes you just want to give you fifty percent. So it's now you from your experience that will now judge either where are you going to stop out. So you need to wait by the time you see some signs and all. So you need to get out of such market. That is that about your um, stop loss and the light. Always put it down. Right. Okay. All right. The next one is confirmation. You need to have a very good confirmation. A very good confirmation. A very good confirmation. Then um for for what's it called? Um derive, right? It's different. If you're new to this, you can it is, this is actually a platform where this is a trading broker that gives you opportunity to trade a, a, a market that is not affected by fundamentals. That is the news. 
we just technical analysis purely. Before you start to, to trade this thing, you need to have a good knowledge about theory before you start trading because it's kind of different, very, very different. Yes, analytics are not like the, the way their stop loss and, and loss size is actually fashion. It is different, so you need to um, know that so well. So now, by the time you are in an unknown land, don't behave anyhow because you don't know what it is. That is, now, if I'm driving, and when I'm in a city that is, is new to me, what I do is I don't speed because the road is new. I don't know all those portals, where portals are. I don't know where this thing is. So I am very, very careful when I am driving in a road that I'm not familiar with. But a road that I'm familiar with, I can predict where the bump is. I can predict where the portals are. I can predict where the next stop is. I, don't, I can predict a lot, quite a number of things. So I know where to speed. I know when to slow down. So same thing applies to here. When you are in an unknown land, caution your caution level should be higher because what I mean is, okay, you are trading gold for the first time and all you just did is slam 0 0.5. But you are forgotten that gold volatility is different from the volatility of AUD, USD. Do you understand? They are, they, they are different. They differ in terms of how heavy they are, how volatile they are. So it is your duty to actually do some research to know how heavy this pair is. You can create a demo account and be entering it there first, maybe 0 0.01, you enter the dead force and you see how much loss you incur to actually determine, okay, if you are still around 0 0.5 or 0 0.20, you should know that, oh, with your lowest loss, oh, this is a slow trade. It's not that, it's less volatile. Compared to when you enter with 0 0.01, like Bitcoin or gold, and you are seeing something like um, 0 0.5, 0 point, um, 0 0.5 or $1, with the lowest loss size, definitely you know that this is a very low, um, volatile pair because it's going to be taking that very profit or loss at one, 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 two, two, and one, 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 in accumulation of one, one, compared to a lower, a lower pair that is taking at 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, so you can actually know that, oh, this pair is weak, and now let me calculate my pips, let me know how many pips I'm ready to reach on this, how many things I'm ready to go with. So, right, you can also go to website to check pips calculator, you actually know, okay, the different form of this TPD spacing game and the entry right now. How many how many pips and pips is it? Then you do your calculation and you know what you are expecting. And another thing you need to know is by time, the time the person is calling the trade, the time timing is very important when it comes to trading. The time the person calls the trade, right? Then you the person might drop the trade around maybe one o'clock, and you you are getting to see the trade around one thirty. So it's not about the difference in time actually, but you you need to go and check your chart. To know if the trade has really gone over. So if the trade has gone like 30%, just leave the trade or you wait for a correction and you take your trade. You take you look for your entering opportunity and you take your trade. But if it has gone far, just let the trade be and focus and wait for another pay, another trade. And another thing you need to understand is you don't have to take all the trade. You don't have to take all the trade. You don't have to take all the trade. You just need maybe two or one trade a day actually that is very very profitable you don't have to take all the trade you don't have to take all the trade don't take few okay look at the one you want to take and stick to that one then you might have two or three and that's all for the day and you are good right so you don't have to take all the trade and then always decline your 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 loss size decline your loss size when you have made enough money when you are so you don't want to be in the chain of you making big money and losing it back it's more painful when you lose a profit than not making profit. So by the time you use, let me say, you use 10 loss size right now, and you have won the trade. The next trade, the next trade you want to reduce your loss size to maybe five. Five loss, because by the time this one goes to loss, it won't even meet up the profit you have made, you have, you have made here. Maybe you made $500 profit right here. But by the time you lose, you'll be losing around $200. At the end of the day, you can go home with $300 profit. Why? Because you didn't use the same amount of loss size. So you need to be very, very careful and uh, decline your loss size. Decline your loss size. When you have a major win, decline your loss size. This is very, very important. By the time you lose again, decline your loss size to one. You lose again, decline your loss size to 0 0.5. And that is how you can actually really, really, really secure your profit to some point. Be smart. With that now confirmation you need confirmation before taking your trade maybe the person call a trader down this way and you are seeing a big big engulfing candle it is dangerous it is really really dangerous 
having a big, big engulfing candle around your entry, right? Because the candle power is very, is very, 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 very solid. If you want to learn about candles, um, I'm going to drop a link in the in my um, in the description right there, so you can go and check it out right there. That's it. That about confirmation. Get your confirmation rejection right here is also good at your entry point. Rejection is also good. So that's it about uh, confirmation and all. Probably you want to do a breakout and retest and all. That is also a good confirmation. Always try to confirm your listing. Know that the buyers are in, or if you only see a stop order. So when you see you use a stop order, if you don't know what pending order is, I'm going to do a video on pending order and then I'm going to be uploading it very soon. Right? So signals will come in two ways. A stop order is that is to say maybe this year entry point. That is to say when the trade gets here, it will take you along. It's more safer. It will reduce your stress and, and the likes. So, so that it should in case the trade did not play out and come down, you are still here, you didn't meet you, and you are not in loss, so but it will take you along if it's actually playing out. So the next thing is, um, yeah, there are two type of signals. Signals, again, um, I'm going to explain that for you. So there's positional signals, whereby they give you your target. Uh, this is our target, this is our risk, this is our target right here, right? Then this is our entry point. So how to use this position box and how to read it, position box. I have the link right there in the description for you to for you to watch go and watch it so that you understand how to maximize this so some people just draw the analysis they just give you the analysis and tell you that ah, i'm expecting it to come down here and you have to read that and nobody can actually justify that or somebody posted it and you can actually do a check you can read what the person is expecting what the person is up to and um, make justice about it then the next one is somebody actually giving you um the old detail sell this blah 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 uh, um, um, AUD, USD, or something like that. Sell AUD, USD. They give you the, the entry point when you're entering. For, if it's not market execution, there's if they don't give you entry point, definitely it's market execution. If they don't give you TP and SL, it's, it's market execution, right? All you need to know is be sure that you are not entering the trade. It look at it and uh, take profits. Then you can justify how far the trade has gotten closer to the take profit. Then, if you are giving the point, if you enter from definitely there's an entry point, and also you have a pending order. Pending order is buy, stop, sell, limit, and all the likes. So, those are pending order. They will definitely give you the price at which the trade should activate. They are expecting the trade to activate, and that's pending order and the likes. I'm going to be doing a video to explain that. I hope you actually got a lot of values. And if you're asking about position box, what is position box? And um, all right, I'm going to show you something like that right away um, let me load this chat so if you like to join my sig group you can always join i'm going to look at this something like this this is in profit right now this is actually in profit look at it's going in profit i dropped this trade and it's actually moving in profit so i'm going to show you give you a glimpse of what is happening in my signal group and um and i'm so that you understand what is really really going on right there so this is one of the group we have whereby you this is my mentorship group and um, whereby you, um, you get access to, to all the things right there bam, bam. so yep this is it right now so these are the results so far look at people's result people's result people's result look at it and the usd people's result People's result, 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 people's result. You can see how their movement, they're cutting all the moves and all. People's result and people's result and people's result. So if you want to join this, just click, just click. Um, I'll leave my telegram and link right there so that you can message me and we can do things together. So there are over 250 people right here. This is a free one. This is even a free version. I also have a paid one, which is just, uh, I think, yeah. It's just $33, $33 flat and a month. Just imagine you're getting Bitcoin, you're getting a crypto, you're getting a forest, you're getting synthetic for those $33. That's way far cheap compared to what I'm seeing out there. People are paying 100, they're paying 75, they're paying 50. So just take advantage of Bitcoin right, right now and make things happen for yourself. And you can also be here. I have a free signal group also. You can be there to actually check to know if 
yeah, this person is really, really giving value, like he said, and verify it. Yes, if, you, if you are really giving value, you really, really want to, uh, you don't need to really do uh, a lot of talking. Let them go there and let the work speak, right? So you can go to the, to the signal group and check, the free signal group and check and, and take trade right there. You can also be profitable taking the free signal group, not to talk of you taking the paid one. So, yeah, this is, I've come to the end of this um, this one right now. I'll be expecting more videos. If you got value right here, subscribe. And I really appreciate you. Like and turn off your notification bell because I'm dropping more values. Let's go, guys.